Hey, what's up you guys? Chad Christian here. Welcome to my new video series. In this series, I'm going to introduce you to four different and unique laptops and why you would want to use them. So starting from the left to the right, what we've got here is the Razer Blade 14. This is the 2017 model. This is the FHD. They do not have the 4K model out yet. When they do, I'll get that and I'll show that to you guys. Uh, moving along here, this is the Razer Blade 2017 edition, but this has the QHD Plus. It's not true 4K, but it's close. So this also is touchscreen. Then move along next is the HP Spectre X360. This is the 15 inch model. This is a brand new 2017. It has pen support, a full 4K display, and it is touchscreen. And then the last one here, this is the MacBook Pro. This is the 15 with touch bar, space gray, and this model has the AMD 455 in it. So, the reason I thought I'd put this video together for you guys today is uh, find out what applications you use, what you would use this for in your everyday business life. Some of these are more for gaming, some of these are more for artists, and some of these are more for video and, um, you know photography professional so let's go through them each and if you guys have any questions or comments make sure to leave them down below hit that subscribe and the notification bell so to let you know when new videos come out so um, I'll also leave a link down below on all of the, the reviews that I've done for each of these systems so the razor blade models have been known for gaming now these have the nvidia graphics 1060 cards in them they're fantastic for triple a titles they'll even play your vr so they are uh they do have vr support oculus rift htc vive i've tested them with both and they run great the 90 plus frames per second with no stuttering so these are fantastic laptops if you're looking at getting for gaming the nice thing with these systems is they're very light, they're very portable, and they're in that 14 inch space. So even though they're a gaming model, you know, you're not getting that inch thick. You know, these ones are smaller than a dice, but they're very light, four to four and a half pounds. Now for gamers, this is great too. They have top firing speakers on both of the models. And by the way, the hardware hasn't changed as far as the looks go in the last couple of generations with the razor blades. Um, they both have individually lit RGB keyboards, which is nice because you can customize these to be any way that you want. They have extremely smooth glass track pads, the best track pad of any system that I've used next to the MacBook. Of course, the MacBook trackpad is the de facto, like this is the best trackpad you can get. Feels great, nice smooth glide, plus it's extremely large. Um, some of the other applications that I could see these being used for is if you're a CAD or a programmer, just because um, you, know, you can upgrade these, you can boost the, uh, the hard drive size on these. Now these come with 16 gigs of RAM, which is soldered on, so you can increase the RAM on these, but you can increase the hard drive. And the reason I say that the CAD and the programmers is because with the core, Razer Blade makes a core system, which is an external GPU that you can plug into the USB Thunderbolt C, and you can upgrade this up to a 1080 graphics card. You'll lose about 10% performance, but it does run great in that, and you'll see huge, huge increase in frame. So with these two systems, I would say these are fantastic machines for business on the go. Now, the only thing that you have to look at on the back of these systems for my business professionals is it does have the big green glowing light. Now you can get these skins though, these beautiful skins from Slick Wraps. I'll leave a link down below where you can actually cover up this if, if you're embarrassed or you don't want to look gamerish, you know, but just a heads up, you can't turn it off. It is there permanently. Love these systems. These are my gamer of the year systems. Fantastic devices. So as far as battery life goes, on the touchscreen model, you're gonna get around five hours of battery with regular use. And on the FHD model, you're looking at around seven to eight hours. This is the Energizer Bunny. So any of you guys that have to use your system all day long, I highly recommend the FHD model. Plus my gamers will appreciate it because it's a, a, 
a native 1080p resolution screen so you don't have to downscale or do anything special with it just right out of the box it's 1080 now with the 1060 graphics card you're able to get anywhere from 60 plus uh, most of the titles you can get a hundred plus on your frames per second with the 1080 with the 1060 card in there with that 1080p screen so fantastic gaming and professional devices the HP Spectre X360 15 this one I would also say is a fantastic business model or business professional system looks great it's a 360 design so instead of just a laptop like all the other ones up here this one will do all sorts of moves so this is a convertible display is beautiful it's 4k it's extremely bright with about 320 nits of brightness fantastic display on this keyboard is great to type on it's one of the best that I've typed on actually all of these systems up here have unique and different style keyboards and we'll get into that a little bit when we get over to the butterfly uh, keys over here but feels great same thing here every model that we have here has top facing firing speakers sounds great um, this speaker system is made by Bang and Olufsen it's been tuned by them sounds really good um, it has a nice larger size trackpad on it so I like that the trackpad is actually larger than um, say over here on the razor blade I actually prefer the large track pads it does have palm rejection just like the MacBook so you don't have to worry about when your hands are resting on the keyboards are you gonna move the mouse you don't have to worry about the, this system now this one has an Nvidia GeForce 940 MX graphics processor in it you're not gonna push the AAA titles at 1080p but you Counter-Strike guys, League of Legends, Diablo 3, um, Civilization, not a problem. This will, this will play those games. Um, and believe it or not, I mean, you can play some later games or some newer games. If you're going to do that, though, you will have to either go to low settings or you're going to have to run it in 720p. So now some people have said that you can run the Razer Core and some external GPUs into this because this does also have... Uh, USB-C ports so and we'll get into the IO ports here in a minute so you could run that on this with some tweaking but it's not official so I can't I can't recommend it because it's not an official upgrade for the system now last but not least of course is the MacBook Pro 15 now this one is uh, spec'd out to price this one's at $2,800 which includes the uh, touch bar this one's space gray, has 512 gigs of uh, solid state storage size. You cannot upgrade the RAM and you cannot upgrade the hard drive. Once you get these butterfly keys, some people like them, some people don't. I actually like them. Now, the one thing from using this every day to write reviews and do different things is the fact that even though this has palm rejection, sometimes when I'm typing, it still bounces around, so I don't like that at all. I love the large size trackpad, but I don't like the palm rejection, and I know it's almost impossible for them to recognize if you're trying to move you know, the touchpad or if you're actually typing and you've bumped it on accident. So I, the only way I think they're gonna get around that is by you know decreasing the size of it, which, so it's up to you. If you type a lot, this one will be a little bit harder because you will get sometimes that bump and it goes to different spots. And so just be aware of that. Excellent sounding system here too. This one also has the top uh, firing speakers. Sounds great. I'd probably say out of the bunch here that the MacBook Pro has the best sounding speaker system followed by the HP Spectre and then the Razors. And that's not to say anything bad because Seriously, every one of these systems sounds fantastic when you compare it to any other laptop that's out there. Now, if you've seen my Alienware 17R4 and 15R3 review, those actually have really good sound systems too. The 17 has a built-in subwoofer, but the problem is, is the speakers are either firing from the sides or the bottoms or you don't hear it as well, where I happen to actually like the top facing speakers. It just sounds better, it's fuller, it's you know closer to your ear type of thing. So, love the sound systems on these. Now, 
This one, I go back to the HP Spectre X360 15. This one includes a pen, so if you click the link down below and look at my review, this one actually includes a stylus pen that goes with it. Now, if you see my review for the X360 uh, 13 edition that just came out at the end of 2016, it did not include pen support, and myself and everyone included, you know, we were baffled by that because HP's been pushing that so hard. So HP actually re-released the 13 inch version with the pen and gave you support for it. So now watch out for that 13 inch version. If you look at it online, there are two versions. Make sure the one that you want either has the pen or doesn't, but they are two different models. So just to confuse you a little bit there, pen support works great on this. Um, it actually uses the same style system that the Surface Book and the Surface Pro 4 uses. So if you're familiar with those, then you'll definitely love this. Now, screen, as far as which screen is that I like best and which one I would prefer the most, um, that's a toss up. That's gonna be either between this HP Spectre or the MacBook. Now, I love the touch screen. I'm, I'm a touch screen junkie. It took me hours to clean these up. I love my touch screens. Um, they're fast, they're fluid, uh, feels great, it's beautiful, but the fact that this is so thin, it's just unbelievably thin and bright and crisp, it, to me it's a toss up. Um, if I had to say just overall looks, I'd say the MacBook looks the best for use and functionality in my day to day use. I would say the HP Spectre looks the best to me because of that touchscreen ability. So it's really up to you and your needs, which one do you like more? Now, as far as the IO ports go on this, you've got uh, HDMI, USB, and a USB-C, which is Thunderbolt 3, and your uh, power adapter, two USB 3s, and a headphone mic combo jack. So, I like the fact that it's future-proofed with a USB-C and it goes back and uses the old-style USBs. Now on the HP Spectre I.O. ports, we've got two USB-Cs with Thunderbolt 3, a full-size HDMI, and that is 2.0, your uh, volume rockers, you've got your USB 3.0, headphone uh, microphone combo, power standby mode and a full-size HDMI slot. So I love the fact that for you video and photography professionals, you can plug in your full-size SD card right into this and get to work, where you can't do it on the rest of these. Now, of course, on the MacBook Pro, all you've got here is your headphone jack, two USB-Cs, which are Thunderbolt 3, and two more USB-Cs, which are also Thunderbolt 3 over here. So. This one is extremely future-proofed. It's so future-proofed though that everything you do is going to require a dongle. Now, I use um, a Sataki USB-C dock, which I'll leave a, a link down in the description. And if you watch my review video, I actually put that in there. Which one would I use every day overall? Well, like I said, mine is, mine is the, uh, the razor blade actually 2016 edition this is a skylake with a 6700 hq processor 16 gigs of ram and a 512 gig ssd you can bump this up to a one terabyte or two terabyte drive so th this is my daily driver now a lot of you guys for video editing if you're you know locked into the mac ecosystem obviously this is the way to go if you're on the fence and um, you're just looking at price versus performance, let me give you a price breakdown real quick. You're looking at around $2,000 for the razors, configured as they are. The HP Spectre is your best value at $1,499.99 right here, so $1,500. And your MacBook's the most expensive, of course it will, um, it, it retains its value a lot longer, let's put it that way. So this is $2,800. So if I was going to say most bang for your buck, best overall system out of all these, daily professional use, you're not a hardcore gamer, but you do some video production work, you know, you, you're uh, a photographer, you, you do some light work in the field, that sort of thing, 
HP Spectre, that's your winner. If you're a gamer, you love gaming, and all you want to do is, you know, blast those frames per second, Razor Blade, that's your performer right there. You know, if you love the Mac system, you've got the iPhones, the Apple Watches, everything that you love in the Apple ecosystem. The Mac, of course, is the way to go. Now, if I had to battle between these two, I would definitely go with HP Spectre only because of the price. I think for $1,500, it's just a better, well-rounded system for $1,500. If this was $2,000, I would probably say the MacBook because of the price, the values, your, your value is gonna stay up. The system is extremely stable. You get fast updates. You don't have to worry about it. The resale value is through the roof forever but at $2,700 to get the exact same system as I can get with the full touchscreen, everything else spec'd out the same as far as processor, RAM, and hard drive space, then I've got to give that to the HP Spectre. I think they did a fantastic job with that. Um, any one of these I'd be comfortable in a business environment to bring them in. They're fantastic devices. I get a lot of questions about these when I'm out in the field. Hey, what is that? What do you recommend? Well, that's why I put this video together. I hope this helps you guys. I just wanted to show you a little bit of everything to give you a better feel of what they are, what they can do, and what they're about. So I hope you guys like the new video series. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next video.